Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js TypeScript. Today we are going to learn build a REST API with Node.js TypeScript and the MongoDB. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, we have to create the directory. So let's open our project. Any of the project, we will go with the Node. So I'm going to open this project. Let's create the directory. Now we have to go to that directory. Okay. Now we have to go with the uh, initialize with the uh, packet.json with npm init y. Okay. So here we go with next. We have to install this npm packages that is express mongoose and dot env. So make sure you have to install it. Then we have to install their TypeScript. I think we use NVM use node 20. Then I think <coughs> go with this one. Now we have to install this. Okay, done. Moving to the next, configuring the TypeScript. So we have to create a tsconfig.json file. Okay, so let me open this project code. So here we opening the code right now. So let's create a file that is tsconfig.json. And here we go with the, our code. Just paste it. Okay, then we have to create a folder that name is source. So let's create a folder which name is source. Then we have to create an app.ts file. Let's create a new file that is app.ts, then uh, server.ts. Server.ts. Now we have to create a folder with config. Okay, in the source, in the source we have to create a new folder that is config. In the config we require two files that is database.ts. This is for the configuration files for connectivity of the MongoDB. Okay, then uh, let's create a new file again with this. Right, then controllers. So currently we have only one controller that is users controller. So here we go with the, let's close this. Let's create a new folder again with controllers. And here we have the user controller.ts. Okay, let's create this file. Then we have to create models. Controllers done. Let's create in the source. We have to go with the new folder which creates models now. User model.ts where which would define our schema of the database. Now we go with the last one that is routes. Okay, so in this let's create a folder routes and routes we will go with user routes.ts. Okay, done folder structure. Now create a .env file and with this URL you have to put. So let's create in the root here. You have to create dot e, sorry dot env that is uh, configure environment variables. So MongoDB URL. I will go with this crud type script. I will add. Okay, the port you have to mention which port the server should listen. Now connecting to the database. Okay, in the source config database.ts, just add this code for the connection to the MongoDB. Okay, so here we go with the file source config database.ts. Let's add this code. Is not in the module. We haven't created the dot env so let's here we have a source config 
dot env dot ts i think it's already there dot env let's check actually we haven't updated the code in the dot env file that's the reason it's showing the error so let's add this Okay, and here we go with this one so here they're saying that the new does not exist in the type so let's remove this this is also not in the type let's remove this and what it says error is of type unknown so we have to define the error of the type okay so you have to define the error type right next we have to go with the user model so here we have to create the user model for the schema Okay, so let's add this in the user models, user models. So her, what we are trying to create name, email and the password. And this is the interface. So create the user model using the schema and the I user interface. So this is I user interface, which we are passing over here. So whatever uh, we are sending, that should be name, email and the password should be string, string and the string. If you are sending the teaser, it will throw the error. Okay. What would be the next now we go with the controller that is users controller so let's try to add this okay so go with the users controllers right now okay save this what else is the issue is again the error we have to define the declare the type of it it should be error of any object or something you can just mention it over here right what else so this is the type of error whether it's to be a string in teaser object you have to define right okay this is done now setting up the user routes so this is the router part so let's add the code in the router so here we go with the routes right so add this router so create user get user get by id update and delete okay export that default router then app.ts just add this code for the app.ts okay so here we go with app.ts file okay the next one that is server.ts the last file where we have the listening to the port with the server so here we have app included okay now running the project so in the script tag just add this so let's check the scripts in the packet.json file so we have already one script right so let's add the another two scripts over here so let's so this is for the development and this is for the building build the build the full project from and serving from the test one right so start we will do with npm run start let's try to check this so npm start will help to run our project npm start and here we go with this one so project is running mongodb is connected right so now check the api sections oh so first of all we have the routes right and in the app.ts something route is mentioned that is api slash users okay so let's go to the terminal sorry postman and check the api so the postman we have to open so let's go to the postman http localhost so let's type the localhost why it's not showing the previous HTTP localhost then port number then the route okay after that we have to go with our user route slash create user so there would be a slash okay and that should be get request so currently we haven't added an, anything so make a put request and make this is post request for creating so post the request okay post request make a body request over here make a draw json 
okay we require the name okay rajnikanth email i think email is required that is rajni90 at the rate mailinator.com then we have a password right so password just is a crud operations right admin123 hash something let's try to send it and the data is returned that means data is recorded let's open the robo 3d for the mongo tb visualization or mongo compass you can open right so currently i have mongo both i have already so the my database name is crud type this collections we have the users let's view the documents we have one document with rajnikanth raj90 it's inserted okay let's try to fetch it with the help of let's add two more records i will make it like uh, rajni khan technical rajni we will make it technical rajni and here we will add uh, technical rajni 90 okay let's try to send this record and it's inserted let's try to view this documents we have a uh, two records and technical rajni is inserted right so let's get the request so here we have a get to get all the users we have so this is the all the users we have technical registry and registry can okay the next api is for get by id so let's make a request that is get request and with id we have to put in the request to get and here i need to pass the id request id so this is that id okay so let's try to get it so this record is we are getting in then make up update request so we are going to put request okay so now update the user with the id so technical rajni is added right so let's uh, make it uh, with another name that is technical rajni 2 i am going to update it with the id let's try to send it technical rajni 2 and if i go to the mongo db and just view the documents and here you can see that Raj technical rajni 2 is updated the last one that is delete the record just make a last record that is delete and user deleted if i go and just view the documents two record is removed and only one record is left okay so this is full fledged crud let's understand the full code base <coughs> okay so this is how this is the routes we have a routing that post get get put and the delete so you have to mention the routes like this then we have a controllers okay in the controllers let's have a look of that one word wrap this and let me just go with this okay so here we have the create a users which we require the name email and the password from the request body from here from the this one this is the raw json so we are requesting the body and we require name email and the password should be string okay and here you can see that interface is passing so interface means so here we require name email and the password with string right so name email and the password then user dot save will help you to save that user into the database and return the status of the user okay and if something goes wrong it will return me the 500 status code with a message error dot message right how to retrieve all the users with the help of the user dot find and it will give you and i user would be the array okay so this is interface here you can see that we are request is this and uh, whatever the record we are fetching it will directly return we return that one and it will show that okay then we have a get user so this is get users then we have a get user by id so here we are getting request dot params dot id that means this is the request so if we are getting from the request dot id and if the user is is user is there then we are returning that user if it is not then we are that user not found okay so if i try to get it right now get so because it's already deleted it will say that the user not found so it will come to that one okay as in the last catch block we will say that the 500 and message error dot message right the last one that we have that is update a user okay so for that one we have to update the user for this we have to make a request of put and uh, here we have to use the query that is find by id and update so first we find that record if this find then we try to update one okay 
with the new is equal to true okay this is mongodb query for find by id and update so request is per request dot params dot id and the body whatever body we have we have to send the name email and the password whatever we want to change so we can make a request if the user found and updated then return that one else status for 404 that is not found and the and the catch block whatever the error we are trying to catch it will log over here okay the last one that is delete the user so here again find by id by delete so we are first finding a record if it is exist then delete it else that user not found okay so this is the full fledged controller section right dot env just exporting the mongo uri and the port okay database ts for basically connectivity with the mongodb right okay so we have installed the mongoose dot env okay server dot ts file here we are listening to the port and main work that we have done with collaborating all the things that is the app dot ts file so if i go here you can see that we have managed the routes over here a connection also middleware also and the routes also okay so whatever routes we, you are working on whether to be user routes authentication routes whatever you can just put the routes and maintain the file separately okay so connectivity done this is done or what else the file i just skip now i think i have explained each and every file okay and the packet.json we have added the scripts so by default how to run the development server with the help of ts nodes over server.ts and for the build part we are using this server.js okay so to make a build just npm make a build and if you want to serve then this server.js so these are the scripts where you can add how to run the project okay project how to run it you can define in the script section right so this is how you can make a CRUD REST API with the help of the Mongo, Node.js and the TypeScript. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.